What is up awesome people? And welcome back to my Pokemon Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire How to Catch series. So in our last episode, we went to Route 102 and caught ourselves a rare walking grass Pokemon, which was Rolts. Now this thing can be found quite easily with a Dex Nav, especially if you're looking for a male one. You just go out and find yourself a Rolts, either walking in the grass, which is about a 5% chance of finding it, or you can wait until one pops up and shakes in the grass, catch it that way, then search for it with a Dex Nav and find yourself a male one. Then get yourself a Dawnstone from Wally, which is at the end of Victory Road after you beat him before going to Elite Four and evolve him into a Glade. Then get yourself a Glade Eye and evolve him into Mega Glade. Or you can just get a female one and evolve it into a Gardevoir and then go for the Mega Gardevoir. Alrighty, so in this episode, we're over in Dewford City at the moment and we'll make our way to Granite Cave to catch ourselves an exclusive Pokemon that can only be found in Granite Cave using Rock Smash. And that, of course, is Nosepass. So Nosepass is a pretty interesting Pokemon because it does also have a pretty unique evolution as well which I will cover probably in the next episode. So let's make our way to Granite Cave and I actually want my items. I'm going to turn on Max Repel uh, so I can just get through here without getting jumped by any wild Pokemon. I have been on here already so I've already defeated all the trainers down here making it a hell of a lot easier to get through. And I cannot find my Max Repels which is awesome. Where are they? Max Repel, there we are. Alright, so let's turn them on. Now, this Pokemon, to my knowledge, cannot be found using the Dex Nav since it is exclusive only to Rock Smash. I could have swore, though, I did hear it in the radar, but I could have been hearing things, which is a good chance I was. But as far as I know, this Pokemon is only available through Rock Smash. And I do believe I may have gone the wrong way. I've gone the right way. Let's just head up here. Alright, so, so there's some little rocks here that you can smash. Now these are actually some pretty good rocks. They do smash some pretty uh, good items as well if you're using Rock Smash. You can get like Max Revive, Max Ethers. I think I got a big Pell down here as well. And straight off the bat we got a wild Pokemon encounter. So let's see who it is. It's a freaking Geodude. Of course it is. Now Geodude is pretty common as a Rock Smash Pokemon so Get ready to see lots of them if you are pretty unlucky with your Rock Smash encounters. So let's run away from that one. Let's go for another Rock Smash and see what we get. We got nothing. Right, so that was a Mawile that just popped up. We're not too interested in that at all. That is a um, Omega Ruby exclusive. Um, if you're playing Alpha Sapphire, you'll get Sableye instead. Right, so let's smash this rock. Nothing again, not even an item. Wow. I'm pretty shoddy luck at the moment. Alright, got a max, max ether that time. Sweet as. So that's something uh, that can restore all your PP on a Pokemon in battle. Which is a pretty sick item, especially if you're going through the Elite Fourth for the first time. Or going through the second time. Last boulder. Nothing. Wow, that was a terrible run. Alright, so if that does happen and you don't really get anything of if interest, or you smash all the boulders, you can just head back to the ladder, climb up, and then climb back down just to reset all your boulders. Alright, so let's head around again and put that repel back on. And let's crack them open again. First one, we get something. Alright, we've got a wild encounter. Who is it? We got another Geodude. Oh my goodness. The last time I went down here and had a check, I got nose pass on the second go. So it looks like I'm gonna go for a bit of a shoddy luck this time. And I'm gonna wonder how long it's gonna take me to find one. Let's smash this one and see what we get. Alright, we've got another wild Pokemon encounter. Damn! Oh, Bloody hell. Really? Another Geodude. Well, I did say to look out for Geodude since they are pretty common. This is what I get for doing it the first time off screen, getting it on the second go, and then woohoo, this is pretty easy. Gets down here and does it officially and finds it a little bitch to find. Oh well, I got a star piece. I can sell that one for some money, which is always pretty cool and neat. Next boulder. We don't get anything. Oh well, we've had a pretty good run so far on this one. 
Would not surprise me if these are all duds. Hardstone. So that one raises the base power of all rock type moves. It's pretty handy if you're running a rock type Pokemon with rock type moves. Oh, we actually got a wild Pokemon. Damn, three wild Pokemon this time around. And another Geodude. Of course. Dude, seriously? I know you're cool and all, but seriously, I don't want you. Bye bye. Alright, last folder, and then we'll go back and reset it, them all again. We got an Ether this time, so that heals uh, the PP of one move by 10. Now, also, I did forget to mention up here you can get the Steel Excite, and on the other side is TM65, I think it was, which is Shadow Claw. Alright, so damn well is running around. Head back up and we'll reset the boulders again. And we'll go for another round. So this doesn't make it... Well, this... Sorry, this does make... Wait, what was that? I scared it! That sounded like a nose pass! Damn it! I could have swore that time that was a nose pass. Oh, I'll go Max Ether. I got another one, which is pretty sweet. Next boulder. Nothing. Alright, got a wild Pokemon encounter. Another Geodude. As for that Pokemon earlier, I have yet to encounter a nose pass through dex nerve. I could be wrong about the whole thing where I did say that nose pass could not be en encountered through dex nerve. I could be wrong about that one since I that's the second time I could have swore I heard a nose pass. Since I've not encountered one through dex nerve since I've scared both of them off. No sorry, the first one I didn't scare off. I was climbing up the ladder and that time I did scare it off. Got to revive that time. But anyways as I was saying I could be wrong about the whole can't get it through dex nerve thing. Guess we'll have to find out if I run into it again. Alright, got a wild Pokemon encounter. Another Geodude. Wow, these Geodudes definitely love me. I'm not going to run this time just in case one does pop up again. What was that? Where is it? Let's just try and sneak up on it. I think it's down here. Sound like a ghost type Pokemon. Who are you? That's a Timber! Alright, we'll leave that for another episode, but you can catch Timbers down here. Sweet! I think the last time I found an Aksu down here. As I said, I'll leave them for another How to Catch episode. Alright, I'm not running this time. Alright, let's smash these boulders. I'll do one more round of them. And then I'll do a little time lapse if one doesn't pop up. Okay, another revive. Alright, let's smash this one. Nothing again. So I smacked my volume. So I missed what that Pokemon was. Most likely a Mawile or something or Aaron. another timber. Wow, oh, timber's been pretty common. Alright, smash that. We've got a wild Pokemon encounter. And another Geodude pops up. Alright, let's go for the other boulders. And as I said, if I don't get a nose pass, I'm going to have to do a time lapse. So let's smash these last three and see what we get.
We've got a pearl. Again, that one can be sold for money, which is very handy if you're running low on money. Got another pearl. Sweet. I'll tell you what, you definitely make a, quite a bit of money by doing this. And we've got a star piece. Again, sold for money. Sweet, I'm going to get pretty rich by doing that. That was an Aaron. That's a while. And I'm going to leave out of here. Alright, so I'm going to do a little time lapse, guys. So I'm going to catch you guys when I do find a nose pass in one of those rock smash boulders. So I'll catch you guys then. Alright, so I finally found it, a nose bar, so level 10. Oh my goodness, that was a painful rock smash session. I got so many soft sands, hard stones, revives, max revives, max ethers, ex ethers, pearls, stardust. Oh my goodness, I've got a good stock of them now, I can tell you that. Anyways, this nose pass has gone to sleep and let's start throwing some balls at it. My goodness, is a long one to catch. Hopefully I get it on one ball. Alright, there we are. After that long, painful search, I finally found myself a nose pass and caught one too, which was pretty sweet. So, wow, that was so worth it, I think. Anyways, 299 nose pass, the compass Pokemon. Nose pass's magnetic nose is always pointed to the north. If two of these Pokemon meet, they cannot turn their face to each other when they are close because their magnetic noses repel one another. So, obviously, a north to north magnet will never touch, whereas a north to south will um, attract. Obviously, opposites attract. And since no passer's nose is always facing north, well, they're technically the north side of the magnet, they will never touch because of that reason, which is pretty cool. So, nose pass will never fall in love with another, another nose pass. That's pretty sad love tale, actually. Alright, so let's smash open a few more boulders, see what we get. And of course, I am pretty sick of seeing Geodude as well. I have lost count how many of those I've actually seen. And at the same time, that noise I heard earlier, where I thought it was a nose pass, it was actually an, another Pokemon. I will not say what it is until I cover that episode, but there's three Dexnav exclusive Pokemon down here. I've met all three of them. One of them actually ran away from me, the little bugger. So I was hoping to get that on my Dexnav, just increase its search level by one, so it'd make it a little bit easier when I came back to find it. Uh, that's not going to be the case because it freaking turned tails and ran before I could actually get to it. Alright, so hardstone again. Um, I'll put, uh, there's also soft stand down here as well, which re increases the power of ground type moves. Now, you get one of one. Blah, 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 blah. Sorry, I was a bit tongue tied there. Um, you can get given one of those just be uh, south of Slateport City. One of the trainers gives you one of those. Um, so if you want multiple of those, you can actually come down here, smash some rocks for some, and you'll eventually find one. Right, so I'm just... Whoa! So I'm just going to make my way out of here. And um, there isn't actually all that much to explore in Granite Cave as per se, and there isn't really much I can really do to find more nose passes because they're so freaking hard to find. I don't think I've even been up here. I may have, I may not have. Looks like I was. I think. Let's have a look. Yeah, I have been up here. Uh, and then if you just keep coming down here as well, past that, head down here and down this ladder, you actually find yourself a rare candy all the way down here as well, which is a nice handy snag, especially if you want to evolve your nose pass. And I shall show you guys how to do that in the next episode of How to Catch because I feel that's a nice need because nose passes evolution and how to do it keeps changing every single game. And it's with no exception for this one. Alrighty, so I'm just going to quickly head back to the Pokemon Center and have a look at the nose pass. Uh, i got an explanation mark on my radar. I'm just going to have a look. Ah, 
out to Makahito, level 20 with Focus Punch. Potential of one star. It's got Guts as well. That would have been a really nice snag, actually. Focus Punch is a breeding move on it. Do we believe that's also a two to move? I could be wrong on that one. But just having a brief look and a brief flashback to Battle Resolve, I could have swore fo Focus Punch was a two to move. All right, so let's open up our PC and go have a look at our newly caught nose pass. So this thing had mega pull. Oh, yay, I had quirky nature. Woo! That's an awesome nature, not. Um, completely neutral nature there. Tackle, harden, block, and rock throw. So I guess it's not that bad. It's got block, which is very, very, very handy. I might see if I can use that on one of the other Pokemon in Granite Cave. It'd be very handy indeed. Other than that, um, Nose Pass does require a particular ep location to evolve, and as I said, that'll be done in the next episode. So I kind of guess it's going to wrap up uh, this episode. Alrighty, so next episode, you already know what I'm doing. I'm going to take Nose Pass to that required location, and I shall evolve it into its evolution, which is Probopass. So, as always, thank you so much for taking the time of your day to check out this episode. And if you haven't already, make sure to check out my previous How to Catch episodes for Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire, as well as the main walkthrough for the game as well. And if you like what you see, make sure to stick around for future episodes. But until next time, this is Lady Crimson saying ciao for now, but not forever. Ciao!